Hello students, this is Dr. Fezan Mirza. In this video, I'll be covering something very uh, simple, although which basically comes from chemistry background. And uh, you are expected to be familiar with this because they give you questions on how to deal with this. So you should know how to make solutions. So how do you make solution? For example, making sucrose solution. If I ask you to make one mole per DNA cube of sucrose solution, so how is one mole per one mole per DNA cube sucrose solution is made? So what do you do? You know the chemical formula of sucrose is C12 ratio to O11. What you will do? You will go and you know its molecular mass of 342. You will weigh the sucrose 342 and you will adjust the mass of the beaker initially to zero because the beaker will have its mass as well. So you adjust the zero by placing the beaker on the on the wing balance, the electronic wing balance. Then you add uh, you add you add 342 uh, grams of uh, of this particular sucrose uh, solute um, into the beaker. You will measure exactly as 342.00 gram using the spatula. You will add this, and once this is added, you know this is the solute that you need to uh, add in enough solution to make one mole per day give solution. So how do you do that? The next you do is you take a volumetric flask. The volumetric flask normally comes, they all they all have a mark on them. And the mark on them is is actually to tell you that this is a one DM cube flask. A one DM cube flask means that any solution filled up to this mark will be one DM cube. You have 500 ml uh, volumetric flask, you have very larger volumetric class as well. So whenever we are making solution, we use volumetric class. So what do you do? You will you will take a funnel, you will pour all the all the weighed sucrose into this. And once the solute is being added, now you will start to add little water. Just little amount of distilled water will be added, and you will start it thoroughly to get a good mix. So you start to mix it gently, and you not gently, thoroughly in fact. Now, once this is being thoroughly mixed, this is your concentrated solution. You need to get a final solution of 1DN cube. Now, with this solution, what you will do, you will start to add distilled water into the volumetric flask. And you will make the final solution to 1DN cube by adding distilled water. And you will start it. So when you start it, you know that uh, this solution is actually 1DN cube. And this is your uh, your sucrose solution, which which actually is just one dm cube of sucrose solution or one molar sucrose solution, one mole per dm cube. So what exactly is one mole per dm cube of solution? One mole per dm cube means one mole or the or one molecular the molecular mass expressed in in grams of that particular solute dissolved in water enough to make the final solution to one dm cube mark. You don't add one dm cube of water first and then add solute because it would end up giving you a solution way above the one dm cube mark, and that will be a wrong way to make solutions. Now, once this one dm cube solution is being prepared, you can make several dilutions out of it. You can just dilute it using C1, V1, C2, V2, the serial dilution, the proportional dilution, which you already have done in your in your labs. Uh, in P3 or probably in your earlier classes as well. So that's the that's how this solution, this this is called a stock solution. The stock solution can be, then be diluted according to the needs. So that's all from my side and that's it. Thank you.